So today we're at Ion, which is a popular mall in Narita. It's actually really close to the Narita airport. So a lot of visitors come here because it's actually a tax-free mall as well. So a lot of the items you buy here will be tax-free. And then you can take a uh, bus directly from uh, Narita station. And there's a specific bu bus just for Ion. So, and the bus will say Ion on it, so you can't miss it. Mm -hmm. And I believe it was 200 yen. The prices might have gone up. It's not a free shuttle. You do have to pay, but it's very reasonable. Mm -hmm. And it basically take you directly to the mall. So it's very easy to get to as well. Yep, uh, so we've been here so many times. <laughs> specifically this week because it was a lot of rain in Japan this week so we've been here not just this trip but you know Candy grew up around here too so she's been here since she was in high school so we know this mall inside and out basically <laughs> um, but it has like lots of different stores just like any mall but I feel like they have more stores in general than in a typical American mall. You know, it just ranges from luggage to clothing to jewelry and to home store. goods. Yeah. Uh, there's also a food court. There's also a hundred yen store connected to it. Um, a used bookstore. A used bookstore. There's also Sports Authority. A huge game center. Uh, Starbucks, yeah. lots of coffee shops. There's a lot to do yeah, here. And because so there's a lot to do here, there's actually a storage locker, which is free, that you can just, so sometimes we just put our jacket and all our stuff yeah. in there and then we just go you know shopping so yeah so we're just going to take you on a little tour of our favorite mall in, in Narita yeah. they're all standing in front of the stores yeah I know they're all bowing <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. <laughs> so nice each person is in front of the store bowing so this is our mascot and now I'm going to Narita-san so bye but yeah, there's a lot of information here on Narita, tourists, stuff they could do. Not just Narita, but surrounding places. Like this brochure is in Sara Sarawa, Sarawa town. So it's about 30 minutes from Narita, but they have a lot of uh, like ancient things, shrines that are interesting. See, so we're in Narita. They have stuff in English. Find the best things to see, do, and eat in Narita. Feel Narita Travel Guide app. That's nice. There's an app. So we love this jewelry store a lot because they have things like this where it's a hair tie and a bracelet together. Do you have yours on right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. Never been in that store, but that's a luggage and bag shop. That is all socks. So that store just sells socks. So this is Hojima or Nojima? I think it's Nojima. This wasn't here before, actually. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember seeing this before. They have a small electronic store here. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to check out some cool gadgets, like they have, they always have like cool hair dryers when oh, I go okay. to these stores. Oh, okay. Let's go check so. it out. <laughs> All right. So here's the hair dryer section. There's one side right here. And you know what's so cool about Japanese hair dryers that it's hard to find in the U.S. are ones that fold like this. Yeah. Like the big ones, they, they usually you can't fold. But you, they even have where you can, not this one, but when I've been to bigger electronic stores, you can actually test the, the hair dryer. <laughs> but I love how they have it on display. The other side, this is what I grew up with, is a hair dryer and brush in one. So while you're drying your hair, you brush your hair. And I use this um, quite a bit growing up, but now I just stick to the regular blow dryer because I have really thick hair. But this actually is, pretty nice as well. So if you have some room to take a rice cooker home uh, and you love rice, I would highly recommend it. Crystal and I have done it in the past. Mm -hmm. It works just fine in the States if you can read Japanese as well because their rice cookers are amazing and they're so stylish too. <laughs> Look at this one. And this looks like what a printer. What is this? It's a box. <laughs> it looks like a mini printer. Whoa. And I love that they have a black option, like square. That's true, they never used to have black. It used black. to always be like pink be and white. white. So like this would yeah. be kind of a more traditional one here. I feel like black's getting popular because look at all the black ones here. Yeah. Look at this, Ice Lady. I love, oh. What does this Ice is Lady a, do? Looks like this is a laser hair removal thing. Probably like one of those oh. IPL things. Yeah, there's like a hair, like, well they have a lot of face stuff too. Yeah, like, it's big in Korea too. A lot of face machines type of stuff. Cool thing, a new addition to this mall is this 
moving robot. It kind of gives you information about them all and like directions. Oh. Oh. So it gives you like information, like if you want to go to the restroom, you press start and then it'll take you over there. So things like that. This is actually a fun little Japanese gift store. You can find a lot of traditional Japanese items in here. Our mom actually loves this store because she loves all of like the old school Japanese stuff they sell. So if you're looking for gifts, like this is a good place to come to. And then one of them is this traditional toy here. It's called Kendama, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, Kendama, I think. I always forget the name of it. So this is the Kendama and it's super traditional Japanese toy <laughs> that's been around for years and years. Oh, I almost got almost, it. Almost, almost. Oh, my balance. My mom is so good at this. Oh, I almost got it. There you go. Yay. That's how you do it. <laughs> Look at this guy. Okay. Show off. <laughs> Be like, okay. So we really love this store in Eon. It's called Azul, but they have like the coolest looking styles. Like I've never seen a style sweat, uh, sweater like this. So I don't know. It's really neat, but. The balloon sleeves I can't do because I always get in my way, but style is spot on. And they have like simple clothes too here that me and Candy really like all the time. Actually, Candy bought a shirt here uh, earlier this week. It's another interesting cut. Yeah. Like it has this band across, diagonal across, and then it has a I little hole a little up here. Little peekaboo for the shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just so cool how they do this. I want, I wish the States had more cool sweaters like this, you know, where it's like different. You're not getting the same thing all the time. And it's not like something that's expensive or you can't afford it. Yeah, this is, uh, what, 60 bucks? It's not bad for like a well-made sweater. All right, now we are at Mujirushi. And actually Mujirushi, if you translate it, means no symbol. So this, they actually have this store online in the States and in select states like around the regions. I think Calif I know for sure California has been judiciary and I think New York. Um, but of course when I come here there's like a much larger selection and they have a lot mm -hmm. of practical items, very basic items. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're someone that doesn't like to have a lot of patterns and you like very simple colors, this is a great place to shop. Like everything is simple from like home decor to home goods, clothes, toiletries, computer bags, travel items, like they've got a wide range of products here and I like to buy a lot of, I used to buy a lot of my like, makeup bags. I, like I had this makeup bag here that I bought 10 years ago and I still use it really? to this day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's very durable too because I've had it for over 10 years now. And what you can do is you can go into another section and get all these different like this stuff and you can put compartments in there so you can really build up your own like vanity case so that's what I really liked about that so for example see how this they kind of show you how you can do it how you can like separate and organize it a lot more so like this is great if you're a makeup artist or someone that just has a very tight space and you just want to put all of your products together um, very well organized this is great so when I was traveling a lot that's what I used um, because I used to travel around for like three or four years just out of a suitcase. I was living out of a suitcase, so whenever I lived somewhere near, I would just pop this out and that would be my little vanity station. We're at a cosmetic select. So it's another. Um, makeup store. Candy's looking right there. And Shion, our nephew, is smelling some colognes. <laughs> he really likes this one because it's a soccer player based <laughs> cologne. And then you can try it all out. Here, what a great idea. You should try in there, Candy. I like their lipstick. I like how it's like kind of thin like that. Yeah. 
and it fades, so I think I might get one of these. Hmm. Got it. Got it? Yeah. Nice. On the first floor, they have restaurants. Upstairs, they have a food court, but downstairs, they have restaurants. So that's the katsu place we ate at yesterday. There's also like pasta on the other side called tomato garlic. Starbucks over there. And this looks like it's a bakery restaurant. And this is a Chinese restaurant over here we ate at. We've eaten here several times, actually. Each restaurant has a food display like this so you can clearly see what you're gonna be served. I love that Japan does this. So this is an information desk right here. You can get information on anything really in the mall. So upstairs is a food court and they have lots of different things you can get. There's a Texas King steak, also Japanese cuisine, ramen, McDonald's, crepes, Baskin Robbins. This over here, HMV. This is the music store. So this store has instruments guitars, piano. So we're at a pharmacy right now, right? It's a pharmacy? Oh yes, we're at a pharmacy. Looking for this thing called Serogan, and it's like a very classic Japanese medication used here, like if you have stomach problems or if you got um, food poisoning. It's <laughs> good. It's sold out. It's sold out. <laughs> so there's two types of Serogan stuff. There's one that really stinks. This is a very, very like, potent smell, but they made kinds now where they put like a coating on it so it doesn't smell so bad, but it's sold out. They're changing <laughs> they're, it. Oh, they're changing oh, it? Yeah. They're changing the packaging or well, the actual ingredients? What's this? Yeah, I think something's probably going to say that. Oh mm -hmm. man, that sucks. Really? So I usually get Makiro. This is just rubbing alcohol, but I actually like this Japanese version because the top, I can't open it right now, but it comes out little by little instead of like a whole bunch. Plus I've used this for years and I'm just used to it. I use it actually before I put on earrings. I put it on my ears and on the earrings because I have really sensitive skin and this seems to help. I also get Muhi here, which is um, just medicine or cream, ointment to stop itching. So they again, they have something like this in the States, but the Japanese version works a lot better for me. So I get this version, which is cream. And then I also get this version where it's like a little bit easier to put on. It's like uh, more alcohol based. Crane game machines are interesting here because they only put one down, so you have to just try to get that one. You know, usually there's like a whole bunch, like a pile of them, and they just bring down the next one. This right here is all gachapong, so you can put a coin in and turn this thing around and get some kind of little gift. Uh, this one's a little bag, it's keychains. What are you going to get, Crystal? I have to get this bleach keychain. Of course I'm not going to get the best one, but... What do you want? Ichigo. Do you know all their names? Uh, yeah. Uryu, Denji, Yanbyakuya, Toshiro, Itsugaya, Taito, Who's this guy? Kenpachi. So this is the cat cafe they have here at the mall. This is actually kind of a new addition. They added this uh, a few years ago or a couple years ago. Do you see some cute cats? 
they're all like lined up right now because it's their meal time. It's yeah. so cute. It is cute. So let's see how much it is for 660 yen. You get 30 minutes. And then there's a drink bar for an additional 330 yen. All right, so that is our tour of the Eo Mall. Uh, we love this mall so much that we come here multiple times. <laughs> And you can really find so much things to do here. There was one time when Candy and I spent like eight hours at this mall, like yes, no jokes. Because we went to the used bookstore, we went to the Daiso, then we just kind of walked around to see what kind of new shops there were. Mm. We ate lunch here, then we had coffee break. Yeah. And we kept all of our like, every time we bought something and we, we started getting a load of stuff, we'd go to the free locker <laughs> and put the stuff in the lockers. So yeah. yeah, you can spend all day here really, if you're crazy like us. <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.